what is going on welcome to the channel all right this is the latest 12.3.4 tesla self-driving we're on some super windy back roads here in northern virginia I'm trying to cut through get to the capital beltway just to get to uh, maryland actually and uh, this is the fastest way so it's a little bit of a back road we're letting fsd do all the driving here you're gonna see some really sharp turns um, coming up so buckle up because that's the only rule with FSD so here we go look at how it took that right bend and how it's gonna complete this left here really nice job and you can see that it seems like Tesla has quietly solved autonomy they've done such a good job at it where they've now lowered the price to $99 for FSD for a month and they're offering free trials to everybody to make sure they can try it out to see what it's all about because they know it's that good. They already announced that they're testing internally unsupervised FSD meaning there's some driverless cars out there doing its thing. Soon Tesla said they're going to do a coast to coast drive from New York to LA you know with no car I mean nobody in the car and then Elon tweeted just the other day we're in April but he said on August 8th Robo Taxi unveil coming what do you think about that no steering wheel no pedals are we gonna get like two different variants what do you think let me know comment below I am super like Blank when it comes to what I think the Robotax is going to look like, what it's going to do, what it's going to cost, why they're making it. You can get used Model 3s for like seventeen to 20000 now. So what's the point of this? Let me know. Comment below. I want to know what you think. Um, you know, we've got Robotaxis coming up. Obviously, they're going to be running FSD. Tesla just laid off like 10,000 employees. Their stock price plummeted. Are they replacing everyone with AI? Did they internally solve AGI and like their robots are just good to go as a workforce now? Robo taxis coming out. Like, I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Right now, we're in such a transition period that no one really has any clue what's going on. Analysis on. No one can tell me what's the bottom on Tesla's stock price because everyone thought it was one thing. And here we go with layoffs. And so yeah, let me know what you think below. It's kind of hard to judge. Of course, please don't treat this as financial advice or anything like that. My goal is just to share with you my experiences. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to put two and two together. You know, I see the robots. I see the layoffs and uh, you know I see the self-driving you know I've been in the back of taxis before so yeah, it can do it now you know like AI is truly about to take over a lot of people's jobs and uh, I think we're about to see it head on now like come 2030 to like 2035 like get good with your people skills, customer service, and whatnot. <laughs> Maybe because that's what it might come down to, because certain things robots won't be able to do, you better get real good at. Because all this other stuff is becoming real automated. If you have to nickname one word about Tesla, it's, it's auto. Automate. Automatic. Everything is just it's automatic future is automatic and with that who knows you know what's possible um, you see me doing a lot of FSD beta drives but trust me when I'm not recording videos I'm enjoying my car and uh, all Teslas are super fun to drive they're really safe cars to keep them within the speed limits and you can have a lot of fun behind the wheel Especially now that the weather's getting nice, I recommend taking out some road trips. You know, 
charging is so cheap compared to gas. I'm gonna be checking out some of the beaches down in, on the Atlantic coast. I'm looking forward to this summer. So yeah, I'll definitely be FS, FSD beta. No more beta anymore actually, it's just FSD supervised. I'll be uh, testing it out out there and um, make sure to bring you guys some pretty cool videos. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button also if you haven't yet. It helps out with the videos and uh, really appreciate it too. Helps out making uh, more for you guys to see down the line. Flawless drive here with FSD, just phenomenal automatic driving. I have my own personal chauffeur here taking me wherever I need to go. Here's the tricky part now. We're looking to get on to 495 and this is typically, you know, the part where I like to take over, where I get frustrated and people try to like cut you off. And So we're gonna actually not take over and let FSD do its thing and see what happens. Um, you know, can't get me onto the highway all by itself without frustrating me. That's really the goal here, so. So far so good. We're looking to make a left on the 495. Thank thankfully everything is pretty clear here. This tends to be a pretty busy spot. But yeah, all in all, if you're familiar with the area here, Tyson's Corner is to my right. American Legion Bridge, which crosses right into Maryland, oops, is on my left. I accidentally disengage there for no reason re-engage now but other than that no takeovers in this video whatsoever fsd handling itself flawlessly and now for the finale here we're trying to get on to 495 green light here we go fsd wastes no time and this car is getting awfully close looks like he's trying to do exactly what i'm saying cut in, which he did last second, but I got to my left lane, FSD scooted left, here we go, no takeovers whatsoever, perfectly made a left into this really cut construction off-ramp exit, and very nice job now merging in and letting the car in front of me in, as well as sliding into the car behind me, perfect. Here's the highway here. You can see it's pretty um, pretty clear for this time of the day. It's about 2 p.m. And um, our goal is to start zipping down the highway here. So that's gonna be the conclusion is how FSD gets me from Georgetown Pike to this exit, then comfortably driving down the highway, hopefully at like 55 miles plus. Here we go with the exit and the merge. Let's see, we've got a work truck really backing everyone up here. But let's see if FSD can figure that out and work around it. And as of now, right when I said now, the indicator went on. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. As soon as this car passes me, I should probably even get one more left, like now. And it does. Perfect, and here we go. We are on 495 Capital Beltway, just like that. FSD did its thing perfectly. Even wants to go one more left. 60 miles per hour achieved. No touches of the steering wheel, accelerator, nothing. Yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. This could be your commute home to and from work, to and from your home forever let me know what you think comment below hit that like button and subscribe for more thanks again for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day